Hello guys, Omnus Addicted here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a modern Minecraft cliff house. Yes, I am. Now, it doesn't have to be a cliff house, it could be a hill house, could be a mountain house, could be anything, it could be a block of dirt, really. But we're going to be doing it in a modern style today, and the blocks that I'm going for is a really, really simple palette. It's just going to be quartz, it's going to be some black wool some black stained glass, and obviously the quartz slabs and the quartz stairs. Um, might mix a few other things in there, and obviously grow some trees and things like that. But without further ado... So let's get right into this video. So I started off by on the side of the cliff house. I just made a square with the quartz. And now I'm just kind of putting some supports underneath with the spruce stairs. Now I'm building it up. Now it doesn't have to be like this. Hopefully this gives you a nice little template. Obviously you will have different mountains and things like that. Now I'm just squaring it off as kind of like a box. I'm just kind of getting used to this replay mod. So don't hate on me too much. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get to grips of it. Um, obviously this beginning, I've just done the box. Got it nice and flat, and as you can see underneath there, I'm building another extra one. Now the camera actually gets a little bit better after this, so don't you worry about that. So now what I'm doing, I'm doing exactly the same as what I've done at the other side, and I'm just kind of boxing it. And what I like to do is kind of make the edge go a little bit further up on the top. I just think it accentuates that kind of arch a little bit more and looks a little bit better. Now on the top here, the camera angle didn't speed up fast enough. This replay mod, still trying to get the hangs of it. But this is kind of like, um, it's kind of like a roof vent and I've got some holes coming through, putting some um, kind of railings across here. And this is where I start to play with the black. The black wool comes in and you can kind of make it however you like. You can put windows, doors slightly to one side. Uh, you can kind of make it odd and even. You could even do this all the way around. Now I'm putting some black stained glass across and trimming it off with the white slabs. Now, as you can see, it looks really sleek taking little bits out, adding a few buttons here and there. Now I'm making a little staircase going down into the next area because obviously we have to get down some more extra supports with a little bit of wool. Now you can kind of mess around with it here. And this is what I'm doing. It's like one of those infinity pools where you've got swimming pools. So I tried it out with the water and the glass going across. I didn't like it, so I ended up putting a railing. It looks quite nice that. I can lack it. Now at the side here, I'm building another back area. And as you can see, I'm just putting a stage wall up there with the black wool and the trim going round of the black stained glass. I know this is super fast, but hopefully you can kind of get the inspiration from it to make your own. Now I'm just doing a staircase down to the next level and you can just kind of mess around with different shapes. Maybe you want this plane at the side there and another staircase coming down there. It's just all about playing with different shapes. It, you can never go wrong, really. Well, you can go wrong, but you know, you just gotta keep working at it. Some areas you might not like, sometimes you just need to build it, to, you know, trying to get the hang of it. Now I'm putting some slats on the ceiling, give it that sleek sort of look. Maybe get some skylights and some stuff like that. And as you can see, I'm doing it underneath and like trimming it off as well. Put some lights underneath there, put some bushes as well and I'm kind of filling up some more garden areas. Now you can do this completely random. Like, as you can see, I'm just putting stair after stair, so it kind of gives that support beam. I do the same here, and you can kind of put these anywhere. Imagine if you did this house all the way around the cliff. You could just keep making different kind of square boxes, adding plants and stuff like that, and there you go. It's really super simple, it really is. It's just experimentation. You just got to experiment with it. Sometimes you'll go wrong. Sometimes you'll go right. So you, sometimes you just got to be a little bit creative and kind of put those blocks together and hope for the best. That's what I do anyway. I just freestyle it. But as you can see, there is your new awesome house. Make sure you slap that like button. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's super fast, but if you just come across my channel, make sure you check out my playlist. I do super slow tutorials, not fast like this. So catch you later. Peace.